everyone, it's Kylie here from GF Oats Australia. Welcome to another Kylie's Kitchen Recipe. Today I'm going to show you some quick and easy ways to add some beautiful chocolate sauce to your biscuits or slices. And today I'm using our biscuits, the chocolate chip and the Anzac. What I have here is some of our chocolate chip, our beautiful raw chocolate chip. Now this is featured in our chocolate chip biscuits. So I have put in here half a bag of these chocolate chips and I've just heated these up into the microwave. Just be careful when you're heating up your chocolate. So put it into a nice clean bowl, make sure it's dry. Then heat it up for about one minute, stir with a fork, and then put it back in for another minute. So if you're going to use the whole bag, you can just double those times, but just do it one minute at a time. So then you don't overcook it. You can see this is a beautiful consistency and I haven't added anything else into that. So now I'm going to add some of this sauce to our biscuits here. Now I've got some Anzac biscuits and I like, I really want the consistency of the thickness in this particular instance. So I'm going to really just drizzle that chocolate on and make it just a layer over the top of the Anzac biscuit. Now option two, I'm going to make a sandwich out of these two biscuits. So I'm just going to put a nice little covering of chocolate on the flat side of this Anzac biscuit. And then we're just going to put them together like they're a little sandwich. And that's it. These ones here, I'm going to decorate. So this one, I'm just going to pop a little bit of almond, slivered almonds on them. And this one, I've just got some sprinkles, but you can be as flash as you want or as simple as you want. But just using your basic biscuits, you can actually add some really nice flavour and make them look a little bit different to what they are. Now I'm going to use the same chocolate and put a topping on this slice. So I've just made an oat slice and now I want a little bit of a thinner consistency and add a little bit more flavour to it. I'm going to use a little bit of brown sugar, about a teaspoon in there. I'm going to use a dash of vanilla here I'm sort of cheating and I'm using some almond spread, but if you want more of a Nutella type spread, just roast and blend up some hazelnuts. And last of all, I'm going to add in some oat milk. So we have the beautiful oat making kits online that you can grab. This oat milk is just a drizzle. You don't want too much in there because it just depends on what your consistency is. Give that a nice stir. So just keep adding some oat milk till you get the consistency that you want. Right, well while I'm stirring this, if you're coming in live, please like and share this recipe. If you're on the replay, please put in the comments below that you're on replay and where you're tuning in from. We have a little competition each month, so anyone who likes or shares or joins in, we actually are giving away a beautiful oat making kit this month. That looks as though it's a, a really nice consistency. I'll just run it through. And I should be able to drizzle that over the top of that slice easily. Now I'm just going to swap over to the spatula and I'm going to use that to just drizzle over the top of this slice. Now, you can put a whole layer of the chocolate on, but in this particular instance, I thought the drizzle would make a really nice effect. Remember, this is only half a packet of those chocolate chips, so it does go a long way. But depends what you're using them for. You could also put them on muffins as well. But I think that's going to do the trick. So I'm going to drop in the comments below this chocolate sauce recipe and a few of the variations that I've given you today so that you can play around in your own kitchen and 
Use what you want to use in, in your kitchen to decorate, but don't be afraid to do something different. This is going to be raw chocolate, so it has nothing in it that's going to make it harden up quickly. So pop that into the fridge for about half an hour and then you'll get that lovely hard chocolate on the top of your slice. Also with your biscuits, make sure you put them in an airtight container because they don't have any preservatives in them or butter, they're used with coconut oil, they will soften up in the air. So that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and tuning in and we'll see you next time in Kylie's Kitchen.